Hey everybody, I want to thank you for taking this course and, and working on it. I think it's fantastic that you're doing this and I hope that you're learning more about curriculum maps and the standards. We don't have much more to do. We're very near finishing, but uh, I do have a few more uh, activities for you and we're going to close with something really cool. But first, I want to talk to you about the document that we're looking at. So I asked you to create a flip grid video of your response to this document. Uh, how to create a curriculum map. And uh, it went over what a curriculum map was, uh, why we want to do curriculum mapping, uh, the benefits of cur curriculum mapping, uh, types of curriculum maps, how you can make them understand. This is a really important document. This is really a big piece of meat in uh, this Ashland course that we're, take we're taking. And so uh, your response to this, uh, there's really a lot to be learned. It this is really important. So if you haven't done that, Go back and read through this document and record, uh, record your response. And this has a partner uh, document that I want to share with you. But first, looking at how to, to, to make a curriculum map, uh, North Point, our friends at North Point sent me these documents. And these are documents that they share with schools in our, uh, our district and other districts nearby on uh, how to create a curriculum map. This, they go in, uh, Catherine Hot, she is awesome. These are some of the tools that she goes in. Um, they talk about what month, what essential questions you're gonna ask, the content, the skills, the assessments. Um, you can look through this document. I'm gonna attach it below. And I actually want you to go through and look at it all, but you don't have to fill anything out. Um, this one, as you can see, was actually for Oak Harbor High School. And Kathy Hot went in there and helped them build their curriculum map. And this is kind of what it looked like when they were finished, if you look here. And I want everybody to go in and examine it and kind of think what yours might look like. But there is kind of a problem with this approach. I've gone through it, and it's, it, it is worthwhile. There's a lot to be gained. But here's one of the problems that I think this next document, which I also want you to read, covers very well. What we really want to do is we want to create a living curriculum map. And what's the difference between a curriculum map and a living curriculum map? Well, a living curriculum map is one that I'm going to use as a teacher. And a curriculum map, although I will use it, it's not something that I use regu regularly. I need to create a map. I need to have a map of when I'm teaching certain standards, how I'm teaching them, and how I'm assessing them. But I need to be able to make it fluid so that I can move things around and add to it. It's not something that sits on a shelf. It's not something that I make for my administrators. It's a tool that I use to help uh, impact the lives of children through the material that I'm teaching. And I think I found a great way to do it. And I hope I can convince you of that. But we're going to just check it out. I really want you to read this document, which is attached below in a link, How to Create a Living Curriculum Map. Okay, let's quickly look at the table of contents. It says, beyond cr uh, creation of curriculum maps. How do curriculum maps help teachers? Great question. Balance content across the grade levels. That is important. Standards alignment, something we are going to continue to focus on. Recording throughout the term. Curriculum maps are never done. I love that approach. Because if we're doing our jobs right and we're changing our materials and the standards are changing and we're getting new students that all impacts our curriculum map. Yes or yes? Yes. Okay. What is the role of administration uh, support? I'm going to address that with the administrators. Chapter 2, transforming towards living and breathing curriculum maps. How can we do this? Whoops, I just lost our place. Let me jump back. Um, what should be reviewed? Curriculum maps should be, reflect the best ways to teach. Man, I agree with that. Maps are not the ultimate goal of curriculum mapping. Yes, that is key. Curriculum mapping is not a, a thing. It's a process. It's an action that we take. Definitely read that. Professional learning communities. Curriculum maps should be created together with partners. Yes. Curriculum map review process. I don't know uh, how far we'll get with that. But yeah, our colleagues uh, should review each other's maps and offer suggestions. Okay. And it'll talk about that. And uh, it also talks about the roles of textbooks and technology. So this is important. Your activity is to read this document, Living Curriculum Map, and 
to look at the um, templates supplied to you by North Point. These are the documents that they use with schools. All right, and I want you to record uh, your response on this document as well as uh, one from each of these chapters or more. I really want to hear your responses. I want them written below and I want them uh, shared below so that everybody can see them. And this is important because we're almost done. The next step after this one, the next activity that I'm going to share with you after this is a way that I think we can uh, have a living curriculum map that can collaborate with other people, that will be fun to use. That's right. I said fun to use and that will really be worthwhile. I think I found a tool and after you read this document, you're going to be the one of the first people uh, to get to see it and let me know your thoughts and, and test drive it. So uh, I'm excited. I hope you are too. I'm anxious to read your responses below about this living curriculum map guide and the tools that North Point uh, has shared with us. Now, I'm not saying what North Point has shared with us is bad. It's They're the exact tools that I used uh, when I taught at Oak Harbor. They are great tools. What I'm saying is uh, I want you to examine them and find out what we can use from them. And that might be the direction that we go. But I also may have found a tool that might be even easier, more fun, and really get to a living curriculum map. So I'm anxious to talk to you. Uh, let me stop talking and let's get you back into it. We're almost done.